Today, we'll be talking about the dark side of cybersecurity, the adversaries and what that means for you. An adversary is someone who is trying to disrupt or damage the system or process. This might be someone who is an individual on their own, or it might be someone who is part of a more organized group or business. Adversaries have many attributes that make them good at the work they do. They are creative, they are patient, they are persuasive, they are opportunistic, they are determined, and they are cooperative. There are five objectives of adversaries. The first objective is money. Adversaries will use theft as a way to take money. They do this by redirecting or creating a diversion so you believe that you need to send money. They will ask for account access or pretend that you need to purchase something, commit fraud, or will utilize ransomware where they will lock you out of your files or system until you pay a certain amount of money. The second objective is data. There are two types of data, personal identifiable information and records, operations, and infrastructure plans. To get data, adversaries will employ threats such as getting documents that are secret, personal information, or using data as the first step to another attack. They will also hold data as hostage for money. The third objective is disruption. This can manifest physically by disrupting power, traffic, water, or gas services, or even taking building control such as medical buildings. Disruption can also happen with IT services such as 911 communications in medical and government buildings. Adversaries will also hold these services for money. The fourth objective is terror. Adversaries use terror in personal attacks where they often demand money. They may use swatting, which is calling emergency numbers with fake emergencies. They may use fake messages, such as saying that a family member was arrested or kidnapped as well as making direct threats to you and your family. Adversaries also use terror and public attacks to cause fear. Their sole purpose is not to gain money, but to cause chaos and fear. The fifth objective is public trust. Adversaries may have the end goal of eroding trust in the government, elected officials, certain services, elections, or company brands. Now, who do adversaries target? Adversaries target vulnerable people, vulnerable systems, and utilize insiders to attack the vulnerable populations. Attackers pick vulnerable people because people are the weakest link. Over 50% of data loss is from social engineering, which is a tactic used by attackers directly against people. Attackers use malware attacks such as phishing, email attachments, websites, and poor access policies to attack people. Attackers also use people on the inside. This might be intentional, where someone freely gives information. This could be accidental, where data is set on accident. And it could also be intentionally accidental, where attackers are using more social engineering-based attacks to get users to leak information. Attackers pick on vulnerable systems, systems that have bad access control or misconfigured systems. This might be because someone isn't installing patches or updates and using old systems. The types of systems that are attacked are data systems, these contain critical data such as credit card numbers. In 2021, there are over 37 billion records lost. Another system type is process systems. These are needed for operations. They are often part of ransomware attacks where the system is locked until money is paid. The last system type is control systems. These control physical assets such as pipelines, power grids, and traffic control. So what now? We need to ask ourselves, what if an adversary had access? And then what changes can we make to make things harder for an adversary to be successful? We need to think like adversaries. Remember, cyber offense is always easier than cyber defense. Defense must always be right. Defense cannot make a mistake. Defense often does not know the goals and tactics of the offense. You don't have to be a cyber expert either. By just asking yourself what if they had access and then making small changes can make things harder for an adversary.